for the people that you... Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, what does your daily life consist of now? Um, you know, so, if I'm not traveling and speaking, it's not much. That's why I want to be working as much as possible. That's why I can't wait for this two-month camp, because I will be doing something every single day. If I'm not speaking, which I have been doing a lot lately, if I'm not speaking, you know, I, I have to wake up, I have to put the prosthetic on. It takes me about a half hour, 45 minutes to uh, take a shower and get ready. It's not two minutes like it used to be. Um, so everything takes uh, a lot more time. So uh, I like to cook. So, you know, I cook my own food. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I'm, not, if I'm not speaking, my day is honestly very boring. And, Boring leads to bad things, so you gotta keep busy. And that's why I cannot wait for this two months, and that's why I love coming to like this kind of stuff. It keeps me going, it keeps me busy. So Camilla, last question: uh, Were the people that you met there, like the people whose house you stayed in, were they happy with what you guys were doing there? No, <laughs> not those ones. <laughs> Certain families were, but they, again, they couldn't really show us, even if they were happy, because they showed us they they were happy. Or they show the people saw them cooking food for us. They could end up dead. It was it, you never know. You never knew who uh, was good and who was bad. It was really difficult. Really difficult. All right.